welcome to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, click on the bell to receive notifications. When we bring up the disgusting topic about the adult breastfeeding in Islam, which is Sunnah, by the way, i.e. the teaching or the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad himself, some Muslims get embarrassed and will say without any shame, we reject the hadith. But the Sunan Ibn Majah hadith is classed as Hassan and Sahih, especially Sahih by Ibn Hazm, who is a giant in Islam. So this hadith is totally not rejected. But some people like uh, Sister Farida will say, we reject the hadith without any shame or any dignity. This hadith mentions that Allah revealed the verse of stoning and adult breastfeeding ten times, which were on a paper under the pillow of Aisha. Aisha and the Sahaba were preoccupied with the death of Muhammad and later a tame sheep or goat came in and ate the paper. Now when we bring this up, most Muslim apologists and scholars in Islam love to tell you, well, um, the adult men who were involved in the breast-sucking business of the Rasul of Islam, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not directly suckle from the breasts of the women, but they used to milk inside a cup or a pot and the Sahaba then drank it. So there was no direct contact with the lips of the men, the adult men, and the cows, uh, sorry, I meant to say the Muslim women. That did not happen. So there is no direct contact between the nipple of that woman and the Sahaba. So they are embarrassed about it and will use the following hadith to try to defend this evil, nasty, breast-sucking business of their prophet. So they try to sugarcoat it by quoting the following hadith. But then I have a surprise for those type of liars and deceivers who Muslims consider as their scholars, their Muslim apologists, their heroes of the ummah. So they quote the following hadith that we can find in Ibn Sa'ad's Tabaqat al-Kubra and it is also quoted by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. Now read with me. An amount of a drink, breast milk, was collected in a pot or a glass and Salem used to drink it every day for five days. After this, he used to enter upon her, i.e. Sahla bin Suhail. Her head was uncovered. This was permission from Messenger of Allah to Sahla bin Suhail, Sahla bin Suhail. But here comes the disaster. The narrator of this hadith is nobody else than Al-Waqidi. Now, who is this Al-Waqidi? Let us check out. Al-Waqidi is a very famous historian in Islam, but all of his hadith are rejected and considered da'if. Matruk al-Hadith. So all of his hadith are rejected. Now here comes the problem, as we mentioned. Here is a list of giants of Islam who called him a liar, a deceiver, a fabricator, On all of his hadith are rejected. The hadith of Al-Waqidi are rejected. Now let us see some very famous names in this list. Al-Shafi'i, one of the four one of the four major Sunni schools. Uh, look, it's a huge uh, list. Ibn Numair, Ishaq bin Ruwaya, Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Ibn Ma'in, Bundar, Al-Bukhari, Imam Bukhari, who wrote Sahih al-Bukhari, Imam Muslim, his student, Imam Muslim who wrote Sahih Muslim, Sunan Abi Daud from Abu Daud, right? Abu Daud himself. And Nisai. And look, look, the, the list is huge. is huge of the people who are calling him a liar and a deceiver. And let us see what such people used to say about him. The critics of Al-Waqiri. 
As for the critics of Al Waqidi, there are many. Therefore, I would confine the list to very prominent names. Al Shafi'i, one of the four guys, one of the four guys who started the four Sunni schools of thought. Look what he says. All the books of Al Waqidi are lies. A Shafi'i says the following, All the books of Al-Waqidi are lies. In Medina, there were seven men who used to fabricate authorities, one of which was Al-Waqidi. So all of his books are lies? That's what A Shafi'i said. Ahmed ibn Hanbal, look what he said. Al-Waqidi, he's a liar. A liar makes alternations in traditions. Wow, that's a huge statement. An Nisa'i, the liars known for fabricating the hadith of the messengers of Allah are four. And he's giving four names and one of them is Al-Waqidi. Look what Imam Al-Bukhari says. Who wrote Sahih Al-Bukhari. Al-Waqidi has been abandoned in hadith. He is a liar. He fabricates hadith. And look, this is really, really a huge list of people Giants of Islam who are calling him a liar and a fabricator. Sunan Abi Dawood, the, uh, Abu Dawood who wrote Sunan Abi Dawood. Look what he says. I did not write his hadith and I do not report hadith on his authority. I have no doubt that he used to make up hadith. So he's a fabricator and a liar. That's what Abu Dawood says. And look, the list is huge. And this guy... We already mentioned him. Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani himself. He says, he has been abandoned in spite of vastness of his knowledge. So, ya Ibn Hajar, ya Ibn Hajar, ya Munafiq ya Ibn Hajar, why are you quoting his hadith? Why are you quoting his hadith while his hadith, all of his hadith are rejected? You see, quoted by Ibn Hajar. And the Muslims still today are quoting this hadith, trying to sugarcoat the breast suckling business of the prophet of islam muhammad so you see they are all using a fabricated rejected hadith by al-waqidi himself what a disaster ya muslimin when you quote this hadith that is from al-waqidi you are munafiqun you are munafiqun like him so shame on you for using false hadith Shame on you for using false hadith. Shame on you for putting your trust and salvation on a liar and a deceiver like Al-Waqidi, a fabricator of hadith. We know that he is actually respected for his history, right? He is a famous historian. But when it comes to hadith, all of his hadith are rejected by the major scholars, as we showed you. But Ibn Hajar is a munafiq, and you Muslims are all munafiqun for using a fabricated hadith, rejected hadith, by a known fabricator of hadith. Right? So, ya yeah, Muslimin, stop being hypocrites and accept the fact that Muhammad created a disaster for you which is the adult breastfeeding, adult suckling business that he started 1400 years ago, that you are too embarrassed about. Yes, there was direct contact between the nipple of the cows, I mean your Muslim women in the 7th century, and uh, the lips of the Sahaba, like Salem here. Deal with it, ya Muslimin, and stop quoting Stop using fabricated hadiths. I want to ask everybody to download this very important video and spread it all over social media because you won't find such information anywhere. Please download it and share it even with the Muslims who are deceived by their scholars who are quoting this fabricated hadith from Al-Waqiri. Thank you for watching and God bless.
فتوى ارضاع زوجات رجال الاعمال للخدم حلال وصورة سعادتك ما فهمتش فقلبت عشان ما فهمتش قلبت الجرنان العنوان بيقول فتوى يجب على زوجات رجال الاعمال ان ملخصها ان الزوجه التي تتعامل مع غرباء ويدخلون منزلها بصفه دوريه فان عليها ان تقوم بارضاعهم حتى يصبحون محرمين عليها ويمكنها ان تتعامل معهم بلا حرج باعتبار انهم اصبحوا اولادها الحقني 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 يا فضيله الشيخ اللي بيشتغلوا معايا دول اعمل فيهم ايه سواقين والزملاء والمصورين اعمل ايه مالي ايه <تصفيق> اعملي لي في الجرنان